Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joe here with Deranged Off-Road. So those of us who like to ride sometimes want to share our adventures with others or just take video and have something for us to look at down the road, record what we're doing. Uh, a lot of us use GoPros, some of us use our iPhones, some of us use our Androids. There's all kinds of options out there to record what you wanna do. But some of the best footage, some of the coolest footage comes from drone shots. They just bring a more cool kind of cinematic look. They let you see what you're doing from kind of all angles. So they're a lot of fun to, uh, to add to your recording tools when you're out off-roading uh, and help you share what you do with the rest of the world. Drones have gotten easier and easier to use. Super simple, lets you create cool content and does kind of everything for you. With that said, let's take a look at what we think is the ultimate off-road drone or outdoor drone, the ultimate tool for you to use to bring drone footage into what you're doing. Okay, so what drone are we talking about? Well, we are talking about the new Skydio 2 Plus. It's, I say new, it's probably been out six, eight months, the 2 Plus anyway. We've had the regular Skydio for a while and just picked up the 2 Plus. We did it for mainly the biggest reason for the additional range that comes with it and the better beacon that they have. But both are great drones and both will get you some, some real cool footage. But we are looking at the Skydio 2 and I'm gonna roll kind of some, some drone footage here so you can kind of see what it's about, see what kind of footage you can get from it. Uh, but one of the coolest things about this drone is the fact that it will do everything kind of automatically or automated. Um, they, it comes with, or it doesn't come with, but you, can, you get a beacon, actually it may come with it, probably comes with it, a beacon that you keep on you and the drone knows where this beacon is at and it will follow you around and do all kinds of cool stuff based on what you tell it to do with this beacon. So you can throw it in your backpack, throw it in your glove box, throw it in your pocket and the drone will follow you around. You can either have you, it follow you right behind you can have it do like an orbit thing where it just kind of circles around you. Or you can adjust the position like 360 degrees around you or up and down as well at any time with the beacon. So the beacon has, um, it has a right and left arrow that let you move it around the circle and an up and down arrow that lets you move it up and down in elevation. And you can do that at any time where you have it. But once you get it set, the cool thing about it, you throw it in your bag and you go. So I happen to watch a couple different uh, dirt bike channels um, that use it a ton. Uh, one of those dirt bike channels is, it's called Dirt Bike Channel. Uh, and it's great. The, mainly what he uses it for is he throws it in his backpack and half the time he, it's him talking as he's riding a bike. You'll see GoPro footage and then it'll go to the, um, go to the drone footage. Really cool, easy tool to do, uh, to, to do videos that way. Uh, another uh, friend of mine that uses this, he, he rides dirt bikes as well. His videos are basically just straight up. Uh, they are straight up the drone video. So he will uh, put the, get the drone going, put it in his backpack, and, or put the beacon in his backpack, and then he'll go rip around on his dirt bike, and then, you know, take a, a couple different cuts. He'll find cool spots. He'll throw the drone up, do 10, 15 minutes of riding, bring it back down, and then do the same thing. And then what he does is he uploads, he, he combines the two videos together just using the app or whatever, and then uploads them onto his uh, YouTube channel. It's called Rand's Rides, by the way, if you wanna take a look and get an example of it. Um, just a friend of mine, not a big channel or whatever, uh, but he does use it, it's cool to record kind of what he does. So really this drone uh, really can take your footage game up a notch real easy. So what I wanna show you though is we ordered the sport kit. Um, this kit comes with what you need to, to do things in sports. Uh, which is kind of what we're talking about. You can also get a remote, or like a regular kind of handheld remote uh, with it. We have one for our other Skydio. We didn't get one for this one. We may eventually just to kind of do some cinematic stuff, but we did not get it for this one. But really you just throw the drone deal in your pocket and let it follow you. It's, it's real cool. So I'll show you real quick what the uh, package looks like. Um, so you can see what you're getting with the uh, with the Skydio 2 Plus. So the first thing that you'll get is you'll get the obviously the actual drone. It looks basically the same as the Skydio 2, but the Skydio 2 Plus does have these little antennas that pop up on the top of it. 
that allow you to, or that, that provide just better reception with the beacon and whatnot. So it helps with tracking and everything else. So it, that's the main difference between the, um, between the Skydio and the Skydio 2 Plus. So uh, the drone, it's pretty, it's pretty lightweight. There's nothing too crazy about it. It's got cameras on the top, bottom, everywhere else. And one of the cool things about Skydio that makes it better than any other drone, tracking feature on it, sorry, any other drone for this purpose, it's not gonna be a better cinematic camera than your big fancy DJIs and whatnot. But uh, for this purpose, it has obstacle avoidance that you would not believe. So we've had it in situations where we're going next to power lines. It sees the power lines and avoids the power lines. We've had it follow us through trees and wooded areas. It does everything automatically. It avoids it by itself. It won't, uh, I don't think they say they guarantee it or whatever else, but it won't wreck into something. Um, it will avoid those accidents 99 times out of 100. We've never had an incident where uh, it hasn't been able to avoid an obstacle. So that's the cool thing about the drone. It does have that obstacle avoidance everywhere. It has cameras top, bottom. Um, it looks like there's three cameras on the top. It's got two cameras on the bottom and obviously the forward facing camera as well. And then has a uh, rear light. And those cameras are, you know, they're, I guess, high quality cameras that know what's going on where. So anyway, the kit, the sport kit that we got comes with the drone, obviously. Uh, it also comes with three batteries, which is great because when you're out flying these things, um, they, they do take quite a bit of battery to, to fly around. So usually you're going to get anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes per battery, usually right around in the 15 minute area of flight time per battery. So we haven't tested the Skydio 2 Plus to kind of give you a battery rating for that. But just in general, that's kind of what we're getting is, is 15 to 20 or 10 to 20 minutes on, uh, on each battery depending on how aggressive you're being, how fast you're going, all that kind of stuff. So sport kit comes with three batteries as well. It also comes with a charger. So you've got obviously the charger to charge two batteries at a time. Um, and with the battery charger, you're gonna get the, the charging brick obviously, and then the USB-C cord that plugs into it. With the kit as well, you also get an two extra sets of propellers. They are, uh, I guess you'd call them like directional propellers or whatever, but one has blue center, one does not have a blue center. Um, they uh, are good for one side each. So we haven't had issues, like I said, with our drone hitting anything. We've never replaced anything on our one. Um, so it's good to have the two. I'm not sure we'll need them anytime soon, but it's good to have them, it's the two extra anyway. Uh, and then obviously it comes with the beacon. Beacon is great. Again, up, down, left, right, and then a bunch of different motions that you can do with it. So the beacon makes things super, super easy. And then the last thing it comes with is this case. The case, I wouldn't call it a hard case, but I wouldn't call it a soft case either. Uh, it's going to give you some good solid protection. It's plastic. It's kind of uh, plastic with material coating on it or whatever. Um, but it'll give you what you need. And the cool thing about it is it fits in a backpack. So, or it fits in your case or whatever that, that goes in on the back of your side by side. You can just throw it in there and, uh, and keep it on you and then throw it up when you want it. Uh, and it's gonna provide some good protection. We do have for our, uh, our, our Skydio One, um, we do have the hard shell case and we may end up getting it for this one just because you can get kind of violent when you're riding in a side by side. Uh, so we may get it for that. But for now, we've just got the, uh, the hard shell case is what they call it. I, I think it's what they call it, something along those lines anyway. Um, and then that comes with a strap for you to use uh, as well on it. So that's what the kit looks like. That's a little bit about it. That's kind of why we like it. Uh, one thing I'll mention as well, if you're interested in one of the Skydios, we're not sponsored or anything. We paid just as much as you're going to for this, uh, for this drone. But if you do want to pick one up, use our link in the description uh, down below. Uh, you'll get the same price or whatever that you're going to get from Skydio if you order direct. But we might get a little kickback on it if you do. So, so take a look at that um, if you do end up purchasing a Skydio. All right, guys, that's it. That's the Skydio 2 Plus. That's what we consider to be the ultimate off-roading drone. So you can share your off-road adventures with your friends, family, yourself, record your memories, whatever it is you want to do. So it's a super easy tool that helps you record your adventures and keep them with you and share them with others, which to us is awesome. If you have any questions about the Skydio, feel free to uh, ask us in the comments down below. We'll be open and honest with you. Like I said, this isn't sponsored. We bought this, paid the same as you're going to pay for it. Uh, so we're happy to answer any questions with an unbiased 
opinion on them. That's it guys. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments down below. Also uh, take a look in the description down below for links and different ways that you could support the channel. Uh, there's a, a multiple different ways right now. We did add just a bunch of stuff to our uh, website, derangedoffroad.com. So if you're looking for parts, accessories, anything else for your side-by-side -side, uh, or UTV, look at the, or click on the link in the description down below. Again, it's derangedoffroad.com. Plenty of cool stuff there. So until next time, ride safe, pack out what you pack in, and we'll see you on the next one.